In this video, we're going to continue our gun cluster scheme. We're going to be talking about universal spacing concepts that you can create out of two specific plays in the cluster formation. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focused on helping people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here at the channel. Now, we've been in a series talking about the gun cluster offense, and honestly, I'm having a ton of fun running this. This has like re-energized Madden for me. This formation is a lot of fun, and when you can really understand some of the routes, I think that this really can be very, very helpful. And so we're talking in this video specifically about spacing concepts from cluster. This is the one of the things that I think is really, really cool about this formation is it's basically the way that I would treat this is I would treat this like um, essentially a bunch tight or a tight doubles type of set. Um, unfortunately for the way that this works, you can't motion anyone to the outside and the left side unless you motion the solo receiver. You can motion the solo receiver, but that's just kind of the, the one kind of drawback to this formation. If you could motion, like if when you motion the receivers from right to left, if they could go outside, it would be really, really cool. So I'm hoping in Madden 22 that's going to be a change. But real quick, an audible you want to set is you want to set this five, uh, 518 hook as an audible out of the cluster. And we're going to be talking about that. Um, and then also another audible that I really like is the Z spot and shake uh, play. I think this is a really, really good little concept. Uh, and we're going to go over that a little bit in this video. And then I'm going to show you one little thing you can do out of Z-Spot, maybe. Um, but we're just going to talk about motions and uh, and things that you can do. From the cluster strong, you want mesh, quick base, flanker drive, post curls. Um, if you For this video, I'm going to put spacing in just so I can have access to it, so I can talk through, uh, talk through it with you guys. Uh, but really, we're going to be focusing in on a very specific type of, uh, of concept. So anyways, um, this, is, this is basically spacing. And it's essentially a, a, a kind of a, a concept. It's not necessarily play by play. Obviously, there are certain plays that will help this and certain plays that won't. And, but really what this is designed for is when you start to see that your opponent is doing this adjustment right here where they're base aligning and they're just dropping everybody in coverage. I mean, everybody in coverage, right? So, I mean, it could look something as simple as like two vert hooks and then they're using uh, your best receiver every single time. Okay, this is, this is something that I see a lot. And so we're going to show you how to beat it. So, first and foremost... Um, the first thing that you want to do uh, is this this um, Z spot play, um, or not Z spot, Z spot and shake. I'm sorry. And the reason I like this, this is um, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, if you have Hot Rod Master, you don't necessarily need to go to this specific play. But I find this to be helpful. So this corner round on the left side is really really good. Um, and basically, what we're going to do is we're going. I just want to show you the corner route first and foremost. So this is against the standard Mabel coverage, and you see that it's a short side corner route, and it gets open. It gets underneath a 25 yard flat, and the deep third doesn't react to it. Uh, let me show you this one more time. So again, if I do this coverage, which is a traditional Mabel coverage, I have my zone drops at 25, 5, and 5, which is traditionally kind of what you would do if you're going to run a Mabel coverage. Some people would put them on 30 but it would make this even worse. But I just want to show you this corner route from Z-Spot. No adjustments, and I keep saying Z-Spot, I mean Z-Spot shake. No adjustments at all, I'm just throwing the corner route and I just want you to watch. Absolute laser, okay? Huge, huge, huge deal in my opinion. And so we're gonna kind of build around this as a constraint theory play or as a concept that you can use because the beauty of, of the cluster is you can put any receiver on a hitch route. Any receiver can go on a hitch route. Doesn't matter if you're running back, tight. That's one of the really big, I think, cool aspects of this play. So um, again, we're gonna anticipate that they're gonna do this adjustment. I can guarantee you, if you run gun cluster and the opponent knows what they're doing, they're gonna do this because they can't continue to give up the out route or the corner route to that motion dot receiver on the right. So they're gonna start to do this right here. So when we go to Z spot, and, and again, if you if you have Hot Rod Master, I just want to show this real quick. So let's say I have Hot Rod Master. If I put this guy on a corner, I want you to watch this corner route. It's it's still good. It's still good. Um, I would say that the Z spot corner route is shallower. 
and I would say it's a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. Now, one little thing I want to hit on just briefly um, is this. So this could be an adjustment that you're going to see. You're going to see something like this right here. So if they, throw, if they drop the linebacker as the deep guy, uh, I just want to show you kind of what that looks like. I keep auto on the Z. I need to take Z spot out of my auto's. Z spot shape. Okay, so watch square. You're gonna see easy read. Um, this, the corner. I don't know why. The, I don't know how. I, that 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 shouldn't happen. Um, that safety coming down like that shouldn't play that. Let me let me do that one more time. So again, we're just gonna let's see if that. I don't think that's consistent, but if it is, that's not a good thing. So and that's probably because I put the running back on a flat. To be honest. So I'm just going to put the running back. I would never put the running back on a flat out of this. I would always put him on like a curl. I'm just going to block the running back just for just to show this one route. But if you watch, that's what we're looking for. Okay? So really smooth. So the cool part about this is this now opens up a lot of concepts that we can basically run off of this. The cool part about having a hot route master is you can now apply this to pretty much anything that you do, um, which I really like. So... For example, and again, this is what we're anticipating, 100%. This is really, I mean, I'm dropping everybody. Okay, I'm dropping everybody back. And we're going to go um, to this play. Let's see if spacing will work. I think spacing will work fine. Uh, you could also use post curls if you wanted to. Um, but it has the same route to triangle that's really unique. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that receiver square on a hitch route and then we're going to take triangle and motion him to the left and now I just want to show you kind of what you're going to get you still got this high low on the backside now you have this nice little kind of curl concept here on the backside and if you look there's so even though we're dropping literally 11 people into coverage and four people across the middle of the field, you're still finding a curl route open, okay? Um, so that's the beauty of this. Now, you can motion different people as well. So, for example, uh, we talked about the, the coolness of a corner route from this formation. So if we want to run a corner route to the left side receiver, um, then, you know, there's things we can do. For example, uh, I could go to the play. Uh, let's just go to post curls. That's fine. We'll go to post curls. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put the square receiver on a corner route. And then we're going to take the circle receiver, and this is important, we're gonna take the circle receiver and we're gonna put him on a hitch and we're gonna motion him across. Now you've got three curls in the middle of the field that they have to use her. And then you have this nice corner route open. Really, really cool concept in my opinion. Like just really simple and really smooth. Um, another thing I wanna go over real quick, these are just kind of universal little adjustments you can make, it's not one setup. This is kind of freestyling a little bit out of cluster. But another thing you can do, let's say that you want to, um, well, let's say you want to run like mesh. Um, so I came out of mesh post. So let's say I want to run this, this mesh post concept. And I want to use the mesh routes as like my underneath route, which they're really, really good underneath routes, by the way. But what you can do is I can motion over the, I could take the tight end and I could put him on like a flat route. I could also put him on a corner route if I wanted to. So I've got two, basically what I've created is I've now got two corner routes. Um, and then what I can do with my running back is, you see here, now I've got outside pulling routes. So I could just honestly take the running back and I could either streak him or I could put him on an angle route or I could just simply block him. Um, really simple, but I want you to watch how this is going to work against that specific coverage. This is Mabel coverage again. I just want you to watch corner route down and outside, easy throw. Okay, if you have gunslinger, going to be a lot easier of a throw. Really smooth um, deal. And what I like about this is let's say that they're running something like a traditional Mabel coverage. So let's say we're running this. Now, the mesh, and this is why mesh is so good. Um, this is why the mesh concept is so good. So if I run a, and I probably wouldn't run the tight end on a corner route, to be honest. I would probably run the tight end. Honestly, I would probably simply just put the tight end on a flat route. Uh, and then I would bring this this uh, this post over. I wouldn't even adjust him. i just leave it as is. If I wanted to shallow him a little bit, I could, you know, underneath him a little bit. But now what you've got is you've got these mesh routes coming over the middle of the field. 
settling up and noosing. The cool part about the corner route is the corner route will pull both the flat zone. So it'll pull the purple and it'll pull the other zone outside, which is gonna continue to open up space for your mesh. Now I wanna give you another little takeaway um, that you can do for mesh. This is really specific to zone coverage. They have to be in zone coverage. If they're not in zone coverage, this concept is worthless. It doesn't work. Please don't do it. Um, it's not as good against man. It's okay against man, I guess, but it's not great, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically, um, we're gonna go super, super heavy on this, basically the mesh route. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, circle receiver and we're going to put him on a curl route or a smart routed hitch route. We're gonna take the back and we're gonna put him on a flat route. And then with the tight end, um, you can honestly kind of do whatever you want to. You could leave him on his route. I really do like um, to just put him on a curl as well and just motion him over. And this is super, I mean, this is like super, super curls, right? But this is pretty good because their user can't really take everything away. And so these curls will just sit behind it. So that's another concept that you can use. Um, I talked about the motion over route. The cool part is these motion over routes, in my opinion. So another way you could use that is, let's say that you want to go, let's say, so we've go to spacing. And I got this nice little um, route to R1. So I could put, the, I could basically, I could do is I could put R1 on a, um, like a hitch. And then I could take Evans and I could put him on a hitch as well. And this is just basically motion over the circle receiver, kind of snap him right there. You're going to see they're kind of, kind of sit. And these yellow zones will just basically have to start choosing players. Um, so you can just choose the open one. So that's another little, just a little thing that you can do. And then lastly is um, 518 hook. I wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit. Uh, we haven't talked a ton about that play. It's actually one of my favorite plays. So 518 hook. And this is really good because we can create essentially a hitch wheel combination on the back side right there and then what i like to do is take the x receiver which is a tight end now remember we can motion this r1 okay we can motion this route and snap it. it's one of the beauties of cluster so i'm going to put the x on a hitch i'm going to put the circle receiver on a flat or a corner okay whatever you want to do and then i'm just going to motion this guy like a step or two to the outside it's going to give me a bit, little bit better spacing and now look at how open he is against yellow zones. There's no yellow zone in the game that's going to guard him because they're going to sit on the hitch because he's a delayed curl, basically. So really, really smooth concept. Uh, flanker drive is another one that's pretty good. Um, what you can do is you can actually take this uh, running back, put him on a ghost route, motion over this X receiver, and he's just going to basically be like a set, settle up curl. Um, the beauty of this is you have drags coming in, in routes and stuff that their user is going to want to basically strap on all that stuff. And it's going to leave that little route to uh, the tight end. Another way you can run the same concept, um, you noticed where he gets. So if I just snap the ball and you watch, where does he go? You see where he goes, right? That's basically a, a, another version of a hitch. But remember, we can motion him outside. We can motion him inside. We can motion him all over the place. So the same thing with spacing. So for example, if I wanted to do something with this concept, um, I could do something like this right here. I can motion him out. Now look at where they get. You see how it gets more that direction, which continues to open up space for me to throw. These hitches and curls are so critical to this offense. You have to understand that, you know, it's really all about finding the best, you know, kind of way to do it. So for example, another one that you could do um, is you could hitch uh, Evans, you can wheel the running back, and then you can motion circle across here. And what you're going to get is you're going to see I'm going to get this little natural kind of meshing um, that's going to occur. But look at look at the differences of space. And now we've opened up space to throw that other side. Um, you also don't want to uh, underestimate the power of a ghost route. Ghost routes are really really good this year. So what you can do is you can also put like if you have a hot route master, backfield master, whatever. Um, if you put the running back on a ghost route then what you can what really what you can use this for is a pool route mostly but if we were talking about that original concept then what we can do um, is we could just put uh, I would probably put circle on a corner route and then I would take the tight end and I would probably put him on a post 
either a post route or a curl route, either one of those two. But what you'll see is these, these uh, the, the ghost route's gonna open up all these windows. You see I just got throwing lanes for days and I'm just throwing these easy, easy little check, easy reads, easy underneath stuff. Um, nickel and diming the defense really is what I'm kind of doing, forcing them to go to cover two, to have an additional underneath defender, um, to not be able to blitz everybody, right? Because you can't, you just can't blitz people out of this. Um, so anyways, try to think if there's any other concepts I wanted to go over when it comes to this. Uh, post curls. Oh yeah, so like post curls, I didn't even talk about this. Uh, what you can do with this is you could take, um, for example, you could take circle, put him on a hitch, okay? And then you've got your running back and you could put him on whatever. You could put him on a ghost route, you could put him on a wheel route, whatever. I like to hitch route Evans. You could also put him on a post, uh, either one of those, or a crossing route even. You can put him on a crosser if you want. Um, but what you can do is you can motion Gronkowski out to about right here, let him snap. Now look at the look at all the space that you have to throw these hitches. You've got multiple windows to throw multiple different routes, which is really, really cool um, in light of the fact that they're dropping everybody back into coverage, right? And so what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this kind of base align Tampa 2 where we're literally gonna have to basically start yellowing everybody, right? and hard flatting and all this stuff. And even this is not gonna stop what we're doing because of this, because of the motions we can create and the different types of spacing concepts that come with that. So for example, right here, motion them out, stab the ball, and look at the spacing. Look at the spacing that we can throw these balls. So really smooth, really easy, and I think really, really effective. So if you have not already joined the True Fan membership, and you want to you want to join that? I would encourage you to do that. Basically, every single week we sit down and give you three new videos. We give you a offensive update. So what is the offense we're running right now? And we actually walk you through how you can run that as well. Um, so the mo it takes the most up to date concepts and puts them in together for a video for you. Uh, same thing for defense. We basically what is the most up to date defense in the community right now? And we'll give that to you. And that, and then also our pro player breakdown, where we actually study pro players, what they're doing, why they're doing it, and uh, and break it down for you in the film room. So if you want to get access to all of that content, it's just five bucks for five bucks a month. Really simple. You sign up. I message you directly the videos, so it's really really simple, and uh, it's one of my favorite things that we offer here at the channel. So if you have not already signed up for that, I would really encourage you if you want to take your Madden game to a whole nother level. Be sure to sign up in the description. There's a link down below.